What resources do you all recommend for ministers to be able to preach effectively on black identity? Any, any resources that come to mind that you think are effective? Yeah, I think you need to read anything by Tom Skinner. Um, you need to read all Tom Skinner stuff. Um, I think it's, I think uh, Dr. Evans book, um, oneness embrace is an excellent book. Um, I think that also, I think the book that y'all, y'all don't already bought them all up. So y'all gonna have to go somewhere else and get it. Um, how Africa shaped the Christian mind. I think that's very, very important. Um, um, in, in talking about preaching black identity, um, image of God by, um, by Hokama. I forgot his Anthony Hokama, which is a word on the image of God. Um, also, I had pulled it up earlier. I'm going to see if I can pull it up real quick while I'm talking. So I'm going to act like I'm talking about something else, but really I'm trying to go up on my jaw and pull it up because this is a very, 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 very good book on the ideology of what it means um, to talk about. Dang, I can't pull it up. Anyway. Is it the one you sent me? No, nah, it's a silver book. It's in the um, D.A. Carson's didn't do it, but he um, edited it. And it's in his biblical theology series on exegetical fallacies. No, 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 no. It, uh, nah, it's, it's about ethnicities and nations. And so um, it's a good book. I'm going to have it before we get off the panel. But those are some good beginning resources that look at black identity. Reason why I said Hokema's book, because it talks about the image of God. You can't really understand black identity until you understand the image of God. And so then as you root your understanding of um, um, black identity, you have to first defend human identity so that our black identity doesn't come out of fleshly wokeness, but it comes out of a biblical understanding. One of the things I like that Pastor Jerome put up on his slide was he was talking about its origins in God. In other words, our identity has its origins in God, not in Africa. And we got to be careful in this woke movement to, to, to be so rooted in Africa that we don't remember that we're rooted in eternity because of what Christ has done for us. Mm-hmm. And so we got to be very, very, very careful of that because I, I, but we, but that doesn't mean we demean Africa because God created it. But I'm gonna look for that book and I'm gonna say it in a second. Y'all grab it. I say free at last by Carl Ellis. Yeah, best book. Free at last by Carl Ellis. 